Hello and welcome back. Here we are again. Uh, rather interesting hand, to say the least. Um, I don't know if I like it or not. You know, we have... We have... Uh, <clears throat> let me pull these back out. I keep on putting it away. It's annoying to have up sometimes. Um, we have some mana. One of them is might as well come into play tapped. It's very vulnerable. You know, I, th I think I'm going to give it a shot, but I'm definitely on the fence about it. Uh, an unknown opponent again. I may or may not have played him at this point, and I just don't remember. Um, if you ever play against me, that's the one good thing you can always know. I will never, ever, 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 ever remember what you're playing. I remember people, but I do not remember what they're playing. I just hope I didn't just disconnect. Okay, good. So we're still in this. Waiting, waiting. I'm going to go ahead and pause it until our opponent decides to move past their upkeep. Alright, they're back. And they're goblins. Crap. <laughs> uh, should be okay. Maybe. Oh god, he's got to stop during our upkeep. Um, I would have been happier if he was burned, to be honest with you. This hand is terrible. Wouldn't have given away anything. Uh, hopefully, later on, we'd have been able to, to kind of fight with our opponent. Um, luckily, we do have the swords. Um, next turn, I think... I'd love to be able to Zenith for the bird. Well. Hmm. If we get the black... We can play the Confidant if we get the white. Well, we have to get a white, so we're either getting Scrubland or Savannah. Um, I guess the choice there becomes whether or not we are... Uh, getting the bird next turn. Um, I think I'm going to go for Bob next turn. So, Lackey down. Huh. I think I'm going to go for the Bob next turn. Mog Fanatic, go. Um, let's go ahead and get a Bayou then. That's actually a really fortunate draw. It allows us to play Liliana. Uh, if we can get him to kill this Bob, which we should be able to. I mean, I don't see a reason why we wouldn't be able to get him to kill Bob. Um, he'll probably attack and then shoot it, go from there, which will let the attack go through and take the damage just to force him to, to actually shoot it. Otherwise, we get the card advantage off of it, get to play Liliana, make him sacrifice. Um, he's not shooting Bob yet. Anybody else confused? Bob should be dead, right? At some point here, before my... There's a pile driver. There we go. Okay. Bob's been shot, as expected. Um, if he draws a land, that's Warchief, and we have a much larger knight right now. So we could play Liliana, force him to sacrifice this. If he's got a Warchief, I mean, that's an annoyance, but I guess it's something that we have to deal with. Uh, we still don't know. We're looking for black out of him to find out if he's playing, like, Parish out of his board is the main thing that we're looking for. Uh, him not playing a land looks like he doesn't have anything else. Well, never mind. It just takes him a while to get through. Let's see. Do you have a land? Yep. So there's probably a war chief. If it's a chieftain, he has to swing with both of them and risk and lose the chieftain. We take four. It's a matron. Okay, that. At least we get to pull the land out. Um. We could go get another knight next turn, but instead, I think that we're going to play the arbor and thought sees him taking whatever he plays. Uh, that way, we can also steal any ringleader or anything like that. Uh, and then we still have the option to sacrifice and go get Maze of Ith. So, yeah, he's got a ringleader. We're going to take that from him. He just doesn't know it yet. Wow. 
What did he get rid of? Wart is gone. So I'm willing to bet that ringleader is the only other red card in his hand then. Alright, so we actually get to do this. So one. Let's do this correctly. Alright. Targeting you. Black. Double ringleader. Not exactly thrilled with that one. That one and this. Okay, so if he doesn't draw a land, please don't draw a land. Thank you, and at the same time, you suck. Alright. So, let me see, that's 5, 6, 7, 8. God, this is adding up. We don't block. There's Liliana. We'd need a land in order to be able to draw or to drop anything. Um, that being said, I think I'm just going to go to stunt this, and we'll take five seven. <laughs> All right. So Liliana, black, black. And discard a card. I guess I could have edicted him as well. Uh, that would allow us to play the wasteland, have the knight next turn. But there are certain things that we have to kind of interact with. Mog War Marshal should be the only true threat that we actually have to deal with. So. Just kind of overrunning us this game. The Pyrokinesis really hurt. Nice main deck card. Divided. Okay. So. Here's where we sit. This is 5 damage. So. Next turn we can Edict him and. Are they both at one's attacking me, one's attacking Liliana? That I can live with. I will. I will take that damage. Are they both attacking Liliana? Did I miss something? Let's move this. Ringleader attacked by Liliana, the Veil, and Pile Driver. So they both attacked Liliana. That sucks. Uh, we still have Goyf, though. And there's now Planeswalker. So. And Maelstrom Pulse. We're going to go ahead and get the Goyf out of our deck before he does something else crazy. That should be able to fight off his whole side over there. Um, even with a second Goblin, we can stop the Ringleader. So. We've at least done some damage is the thing here. Uh, he drew a land, so we get to pulse next turn. And we're going to take out... Let me see, if he plays a Chieftain... I think we still have to hit the War Chief. Because, if I mean, if he gets a Siege Gang Commander next turn, it's just the absolute worst thing in the world for us. This is a lot worse off than most of these run, so. Still can't really afford to attack, or can we? I think we have to. I think that we're in a position now that we either have to kill him before he kills us. Well, we always have to kill him before he kills us, but... Okay, so he is the black version, so... We are running out into Parish out of the board. We have to keep that in mind. Um, that being said, it doesn't look like he's got another Goblin, so we're only taking one. Um, still have to keep be mindful that he does have Pyrokinesis, and if he draws that, I mean, essentially we're at two. Uh, looks like he drew a Lackey, okay. We have a Catacombs, which we're not going to crack this. We can't really afford to. We can't really afford to swing anymore. Uh, the unfortunate thing is that the longer that we hold out this way, the worse this gets for us. Um, need bodies is what we need. Non-bob bodies, preferably. 
Uh, Batter Skull would be excellent. Jit would be phenomenal. Uh, Jit would allow us. We would be cracking this. We'd be going. We'd probably we just let it ride for a little bit. But we can't we can't do this race right now. As much as me we may want to. Let's see, diamond. Because we do have this, we will swap. The Goyf can trade for that. This can go for there. Um, crap. There's what I was worried about. So he's got green as well. Uh, that's probably Ancient Grudge out of the board then. Hmm. Uh, let's see. So he attacks all out. We have to block Goyf, or we have to block the power driver. If we block it with Goyf, we get. Hmm. What do we get there? Uh, let's, well, we can block two things. It's still four damage if we block the weakest, and then he throws two of them at our face. That's eight. So, yeah. I don't even know why I was wondering what we blocked the Goyf with. <coughs> mm, excuse me. All right. So, goblins. We're pretty much going on the kill everything plan. Uh, don't really like Deed here, and... Typically, I would love Thalia, except for his deck is all creatures, so it really only hinders us. Uh, Teague would shut down the Pyrokinesis, but is that really a good enough thing to shut down? And, let's see. If I didn't have to get up to 5 to nuke the world, and they wouldn't still have a hand, I'd be fine with that. There's got to be something else. Like, this doesn't seem very good just for some fact that when they're swinging, they're going to be swinging for a ton. Like, we're not going to be going from, like, 2 to nothing. We're going to be going from, like, 20 to 4. So we're not going to get chances to actually do that a couple of times. They're not a blue deck, so we don't even need to worry about that. Uh, graveyard strategies against aggro decks, typically the wrong way to go. Uh, we're probably going to be pulling out our discard just because it's not very good. So... I mean, I guess in, in that right, Teague is the best bet. At least he's a bear. I mean, he's, he's a green bear, which is the crappy thing. Um, but he's a bear. Thalia hurts us a little bit too much in comparison. Um, well, I guess he, she makes parishes and whatnot cost more, which makes her a little bit better. Because, like, at least the pyrokinesis will cost one. Um, but it's just going to kill everything. Ugh. Difficult decisions. Um, he didn't get to see any of the equipment or the artifacts. We need to find one more card. By all rights, Ooze would be that card. But I actually think it's going to be Bob. Force him to... Well... Is it? I'm going to drop the bird. And we'll go from there.